welcome to WordPress Tip of the Week. This is week number 28. In this video, we're going to show you how you can remove the breadcrumbs from your WooCommerce store. Because sometimes people think that they're a little annoying. Some people like them, some people kind of get confused by them. So I can show you two easy ways to get rid of them quickly, but still have them around just in case you or your client who owns the site changes their mind we can put it back very easily so let's go into our uh, WordPress admin and we'll see how we do that okay so here we are on our WordPress admin all we're gonna do is do one line of CSS so to do that we can go into appearance and customize being that it's a storefront theme and then we scroll down where it says additional CSS and then we can put it in this box right here. Now basically what we're looking for is we're looking for the WooCommerce dash breadcrumb. And you may ask, well, how would you know how to find that? Well, good question. So let's go back to our site and I can show you. Okay, so here we are on our site. So we can go anywhere right within the breadcrumb, right click, and then select inspect. And now right over here, that's the span, the separator, which is, now this whole thing that lights up right here is the WooCommerce breadcrumb. So this is the class that we need to uh, have it not be displayed. Okay, so no problem. So let's go ahead and do it in our CSS. Okay, so we're back here at additional CSS. So it's just dot for a class. WooCommerce and then dash breadcrumb and what you can do is you can put a curly brace and it automatically fills in the other one now there's two ways of doing it and I'll show you both the first one is to just have it as hidden and it won't affect any formatting so if you want to do it that way just do visibility and then a colon and then hidden and then you have to finish it with a semicolon so let's go ahead and click on publish and then we're going to go back to the site and we're going to take a look okay so we're here on our site so let's go ahead and refresh and this should disappear and now accessories and everything should stay right in its place and there you go it's gone now you can do it another way called display none but what that will do is that will remove the actual space that it is contained so you'll see accessories come all the way to the top here so let's go ahead and try it that way okay so we're back so now instead of visibility hidden we're just going to re-highlight that and then we're going to do display with a colon and then none okay and then we're going to click on publish and then we're going to go back to the site and you're going to see how everything lifts up okay so here it is before we hit refresh now once we hit refresh you'll see how accessories comes almost all the way up and you see what it did is it kind of took the space that the uh, woocommerce breadcrumb was in so if you want to keep the original formatting you use visibility hidden if you don't really care about the formatting and you want to move things up then you can always do display none okay well that wraps up this week's WordPress tip video I know it was a real quick video so I invite you to like this video and subscribe to our channel and all new subscribers at the end of each month will be put into a drawing for a free WordPress course so be sure to tell a friend and we have a lot more content each week on Saturday, we have a new video all throughout 2018. So until next week, take care. Bye.